As long as mankind has existed, people have thrown away stuff. As more people populated the planet, we've thrown away more and more stuff. The average American pitches nearly five pounds of waste daily. This amounts to nearly one ton of trash per person per year. Multiply that by nearly 350 million Americans, and we're talking vast mountains of waste. Since 1932, the Rumpke family has been working steadily to solve society's waste problem while helping communities, residents, and businesses properly dispose of their own respective mountains of trash. We've been in the business for a long time and we enjoy and are excited to have opportunities to innovate and find new solutions to waste management issues. One such innovation is the critical essential service of 21st century landfill disposal. Landfills of today are highly engineered and designed structures that are designed to protect the environment and human health. Rumkey's seasoned team of engineers and landfill professionals are intimately aware of the challenges, environmentally and otherwise, associated with municipal solid waste, leachate management, landfill gas collection, and expansion permitting. Once we know if it's even viable to look at expansion of a landfill, we'll see what the land use is. We start a wetlands investigation. If all that checks out, we do a hydrogeologic investigation. That tells us what the soils of the area are, what kind of aquifer underlies the property. Then we'll move forward to develop the property. These initial steps can take up to or over a year to accomplish. We then move forward with designing the landfill and laying it out. That takes several years to accomplish that step. We also have to submit the federal wetlands permit to the Army Corps of Engineers. Once they agree with that, we have to go to the state wetland and endangered species permit. At the same time, we are putting together a Clean Air Act permit that can go to either the federal EPA or the state. We also need a Surface Water Clean Waters Act permit that's either federal or state. All those are going at the same time we're trying to accomplish the solid waste permit. It takes approximately $400,000 to get those permits ready to submit initially, along with the purchase of all the land that makes up that permit. That's all spent prior to even having a permit or building anything. Once the permits have been approved that clearly define our plan to protect the environment, landfill construction can proceed. Landfills are built in sections called cells. With this landfill here, you can go about 150 to 200 feet deep. At other landfills, depending upon where they're located, you might only be able to go 5, 10 feet deep. It all just depends upon geology. Our first line of defense is to build a liner system within the cell that we're going to place waste. That usually starts with a three foot compacted clay liner. We then add a 60 mil plastic liner. On top of the 60 mil plastic liner, we put a geotextile or similar to a fabric. On top of that goes one foot of gravel that acts as our drainage layer to collect any of the water that comes in contact with the trash. When we design the floor of the landfill, it's sloped to a sump. We pump that water into a storage tank above ground that we have here located on site and then we either have a direct connection to the sewer or we use tankers to take that water to the wastewater treatment plant in order for proper treatment and disposal. Once a landfill cell is built, landfill managers, engineers, and crew work to manage each aspect of the operation to ensure environmental protection and minimize impact to the community by controlling dust levels, mud, wind-blown litter, odor, and more. Part of good odor management practice is make sure you have good cover integrity. At the end of the working day, you put six inches of soil over the working face to help mitigate any escaping odors or to prevent any rodents or birds from actually getting into the trash. The other one being the use of a deodorizer, which is mostly water that we spray up around the working face to help mitigate any odors that come directly from the working face and managing any off-site or fugitive dust that could potentially be generated from trucks driving in and out through to daily traffic. And the other one is installing an active collection landfill gas system. Once all trash is in place, it uh, decomposes, creating methane gas. Rumpke is very proactive in collecting that gas and doing something beneficial with it. The first approach to the beneficial reuse is to burn that gas in engines. Those engines spin a generator, creating electricity for your home. The second use is to clean that methane gas through a scrubbing plant that removes the impurities and then injects the methane into the gas pipeline to go to your home to cook with and heat your home. Rumpke maintains a system of groundwater monitoring wells around the perimeter of its landfills. Water samples from the wells are tested semi-annually by a third-party laboratory, which reports results to the state EPA. Groundwater monitoring continues for 30 years post-closure. 
Surface water that runs off the slopes of the landfill drains into sediment ponds that are strategically placed around the landfill to catch soil runoff. The water in these ponds have not come into contact directly with waste. However, the water is tested once a month by a third-party laboratory, which reports results to the state EPA. The EPA is out here inspecting what we do to make sure that you know we, we in the EPA have the same goal, that we protect the environment and, and manage waste properly that society generates. It's to protect the environment. Um, the reason I got into this business is I love to hunt, fish, camp. I like to be outside. And this way I can make sure I'm protecting those resources for myself as well as my kids and my friends and family. We all produce trash and the Rumpke family, along with its team of nearly 4,000 employees and its network of environmentally sound landfills, has been at the forefront of providing communities, businesses and homes with a solution for all the stuff we throw away.